Creighton and Kansas played a thriller here in Allen Fieldhouse on Tuesday. The Jayhawks survived with a 73-72 win. I'm John Niatawa with the World Herald. Here to break it down for you. Obviously, the last image of the game will be the lasting image. Marcus Zagorowski was at the free throw line, had to hit all three free throws after he was fouled on a three-pointer uh, with a second left. He had to hit all three to force overtime. He made the first two, missed the last one. Um, and Kansas, you know, nobody really got the rebound before the buzzer sounded. Um, so Kansas held on for the win. And obviously, it's a tough one. It'll be a tough one for Jays, the Jays to swallow, a tough one for Marcus Zagorowski, National Player of the Year candidate, um, a tough one for him to swallow. And in a game where he probably didn't play his best, but but I thought gutted it out and helped keep the Jays in it with some big shots early in the second half, drove into the lane and, and made some tough ones as well to help keep it in it keep the Jays in it but ultimately you know he'll leave the arena as, a, as such a competitor that, that that he is he'll leave the arena thinking about that last free throw that he left a little long that could have forced overtime and could have tied the game um, but if, if you're Creighton I mean sure there's there's maybe some uh, you can leave the gym maybe with your head held high a little bit because you were able to kind of grind and compete and stay in a game where you weren't at your best against a really good team in Kansas but I, I think the Jays, at this point, they're past moral victories based on what they did last year. You know, they won the Big East or shared the title, the Big East regular season title, and beat top 10 teams, won big-time games, had some clutch moments where they made plays. And so they came here expecting to win and, and to, to get an L um, in the manner that they did where they weren't at their best. I think that's going to be uh, – uh, that's that, uh, it's obviously frustrating for them. Um, you know, 9 of 18 from the free throw line, that's obviously costly in a one-point game. Um, the Jays commit, committed 14 turnovers and had a few of those were sloppy. Um, I think they had trouble at times sort of adjusting to Kansas's quickness, um, its athleticism, its length. Um, there are passes deflected that maybe normally wouldn't be. They, Creighton had a couple shots blocked at the rim, like layups that I'm, I'm sure those were two points, you know, last week when, when the, the competition level wasn't at this, um, you know, wasn't at the, you know, this is an elite team, right? So, um, uh, the, the, there was an adjustment that the Jays had to make, and, and um, I don't know if they fully made it until maybe the end. Um, but uh, they, they 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 found a way to kind of crawl their way back into into it. And uh, Kansas, I'm sure, is kind of thinking the same along the same lines that, that it didn't play well, it didn't finish well either, um, to allow Creighton to kind of sneak back in it. But but I think you do have to credit Denzel Mahoney a little bit. Um, he made a big jumper. They, Creighton designed a play for, for, for him to hit a three-pointer and then the steal that he made to, to lead to a breakaway layup that tied the game at 70. I mean, it was a little 7-2 uh, spurt by him, I think, that uh, that tied the game and gave Creighton a chance right at the end. Um, so, all in all, it was a good one. You know, obviously, if you're a fan of college basketball, it, it was exhilarating to watch. The momentum swung back and forth really from start to finish and, and obviously both teams are still have a lot to work out and they hope to be much better in two months but uh, for a December game week what are we week three of the college basketball season it was really thrilling to watch and, and, and the first game with fans in Allen, Allen Fieldhouse I think added a, an element of excitement to it as well now it wasn't the normal crowd here okay they, they had about a little over 2,000, and, and honestly, a few Creighton fans snuck in too, probably a couple hundred, and they were loud. So um, it, it it made for a really fun environment, a really fun game. Um, but obviously, uh, Kansas was able to win, and, and Creighton falls now to 3-1, and one, and we'll have to regroup and refocus um, because it's got Nebraska up next. Obviously, a big game because of the uh, the bragging rights. They'll be on the, on the line, and it's, it's an in-state rival. And Creighton obviously wants to play better. So uh, we'll see how the Jays respond, and uh, we'll see if they are able to uh, to take down the Huskers for the second year in a row. That game is in Omaha on Friday. For the Omaha World Herald, I'm John Niatawa. Thanks for watching.